Before starting the liturgy, the deacons prepare their service vestments. They should receive the permission and absolution from Abuna before they put on their vestments. They all dress in white, like the angels, serving and praising the Lord during the liturgy. Abuna prepares the altar with the altar cloths to welcome the born baby Jesus. Abuna and the congregation pray the Agbia prayers. Abuna washes his hands three times, asking for the forgiveness of his sins before offering the lamp. Abuna chooses from the offered bread, one without blemish to be the lamp. Abuna takes some wine and touches the bread. He wraps the lamb with a corporal, like the baby Jesus in swaddling clothes. Abuna carries the lamb by his head, like Simeon the elder when he carried the baby Jesus. He prays the thanksgiving prayer, while pouring the wine and adding some water. This represents the blood and water that came from Jesus' side. Abuna covers the altar with the prosphyrene. This symbolizes the stone over the tomb of our Lord Jesus Christ. He gives the absolution to everyone, including the other priests, the deacons, all of the congregation, and himself, from the mouths of the Holy Trinity, the Church, and our Father the Patriarch. Abuna puts incense in the censer, during the reading of the Pauline Epistle. The incense carries our prayers, and the prayers of the saints before the Lord's throne. During the Pauline Epistle, Abuna goes among the congregation, this reminds us, with the journeys of St. Paul. Abuna carries people's confession, to offer them on the altar. The deacons read the Pauline Epistle, followed by the Catholic Epistles, which are the Epistles of St. James, St. Peter, St. John, and St. Jude. Then, they read the Acts of the Apostles. Abuna read the Synexium which tells the stories of the saints of that day. He prays the litany of the gospel, so that our hearts may be opened, to listen to the word of God. The deacon starts reading verses from the Psalms, followed by the gospel. The Psalms carry many prophecies of our Lord Jesus Christ. Two deacons, one standing on each side of the lectern, hold lighted candles as the word of God, is the light of the world. Abuna prays the three litanies, the litany of the peace of the church, of the fathers, and of the congregation. While the whole congregation recites the orthodox creed, Abuna washes his hands three times, this is to tell that everyone is responsible for his own faith. Before the prayer of reconciliation, Abuna pours himself before the altar, asking for God's forgiveness and asks for everybody's forgiveness as well. Forgive me, my brother and sister, for I'm a sinner. Sleep. <laughs> Abuna starts the liturgy by the prayer of the reconciliation. The reconciliation happened with God, as our Lord Jesus Christ brought us to his Father in heaven. Also it is reconciliation between each other, through the love of our Lord Jesus Christ. By the life giving manifestation of your only begotten Son, our Lord God and Savior, Jesus Christ. You have filled the earth with the heavenly peace, by which the host of angels glorify you, saying, Glory to God in the highest. 
peace on earth and good will toward men. Pray for perfect peace, love, and the holy apostolic kisses. Lord, have mercy. According to your good will, O God, Abun raises the folded corporal, which symbolizes the seal on our Lord's tomb. On the opposite side, the deacon raises a cross, to announce that the reconciliation happened, through the death and the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. Death, and make us all with your Master, to greet one another with the Holy Kid, that without falling into condemnation, we may partake of your immortal and heavenly gift in Christ Jesus. Abun asks God to fill our hearts with the peace he brought. Our Lord, greet one another with a whole. The priests, the deacons, and the people may now exchange their greetings of love and peace between each other. Abuna puts down the folded corporal. Then both the priest and the deacon remove the prosphyrene, uncovering the altar, in reference to the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and announcing the reconciliation with God. holds the corporals, and with a cross, he makes the sign of the cross on the congregation, reminding them that the Lord is with them. He asks them to raise their hearts to the Lord. Then he thanks the Lord for being with us. Abuna praises the Lord, like the angels saying, Mead and Right. Oh, you who are Master, Lord God of Truth, being before the age and reigning forever, who dwell in the highest and looks upon the lowly, who has created the heaven, the earth, the sea, and all that is there, and the Father of our Lord God. Abuna describes the Lord in his glory and how awesome he is in his glory, where he is worshipped, by all the heavenly powers and ranks. Who sits upon the throne of his glory, and who is worshipped by all the holy powers. The archangels, the principalities, the authorities, the thrones, the dominions, and the powers. And look toward the east. Are here, around whom stand the 
cherubim full of eyes and the seraphim with six wings spreading continuously without ceasing say let us attend Abuna transfers the corporals between his hands and the altar. Transferring of the corporals, refers to the movement of the cherubim and seraphim who continuously glorify God. Abuna makes the sign of the cross three times, on himself, on the deacons, and on the congregation, while praising God with the angels saying, Holy, Holy, Holy. This is to say up to the Lord, You are the Most Holy One, sanctify us, we are the sinners. Truly, O Lord, our God, who formed us, created us, and Abuna tells us the story of our salvation, and how the Lord humbled himself and came down to save us. When we disobeyed your commandment by the guile of the serpent, we have fell from eternal life, and we are exiled from the Perdied of joy, you have not abandoned us to the end, but have always visited us through your holy prophets, and in the last days you did manifest yourself to us who were sitting in darkness and the shadow of death through your only begotten Son. Our Lord God and Savior, Jesus Christ, who of the Holy Spirit and of the Holy Virgin, stand me. And became man and chose the deacon brings a censer, that refers to Saint Mary, to the priest. Abuna puts incense in it, while saying, he was incarnate. Putting the incense in the censer, reminds us with the incarnation, of our Lord Jesus Christ, from Saint Mary. He loved his own word and our, and gave himself up for our salvation unto death. Which trend over us were by Abuna tells us how our Lord Jesus Christ loved us to the end. He died for us to save us from our sins. Ascended into the heavens and sat at your right hand, O Father. He had appointed a day for recompense in which he will appear to judge the world in righteousness and give it one according to his deeds. The deacon brings the censer to the priest, 
who senses his hands three times, to be ready to hold the holy sacraments. With his hands, he senses over the holy bread, then over the chalice. This reminds us, with the spices, which were laid on Jesus' body for his burial. Into his holy, spotless, and blemished, blessed and life giving hands. We believe that this is true. Amen. The priest lays his right index on the bread. He makes the sign of the cross three times with his finger. Each time the congregation responds saying, Amen. his thumb, the priest breaks the bread into two pieces, two-thirds on the left, and one-third on the right, without separating or breaking the despoticon, which is the central part of the bread. Take, eat of it all of you, for this is my body, which shall be broken for you and for many, to be given for the remission of the sins. Do this and remember on the soul of me. This is true. The priest uncovers the chalice. He makes the sign of the cross three times with his finger. Each time the congregation responds saying, Amen. Wine and water when he had given thanks. Amen. He blessed it. Amen. And he sanctified it. And he gave it also to his own holy disciples. And Abuna moves the chalice in the form of the cross. Drink of it all.